Hello guys. So today, as we look at the fifth example, we still continue with the electric field strength or electrostatics. So this diagram here says, uh, the question <laughs> says, which diagram best describes the relationship between F and R squared? Uh -uh -uh. So from Coulomb's law, we know from Coulomb's law, we know that F equals K Q1 Q2 over R squared. And this therefore says to us, F is indirectly proportional to R squared. Okay? So, with that being said, this therefore says to us, when F, when R increases, F must decrease. Let's see. Which diagram best describes that? Mm, this one here, um, it's a mistake. I think this should be R squared. Let's make them R squared. Okay, let's make them R squared. Okay, let's make them R squared. Um, is the red better? Okay. Maybe let me use a different color. Let me use blue because I want to mark with red. So... L let it be that we are saying R squared instead of 1 over R squared. Okay? So we will be looking at these diagrams now. Remember, we said F is indirectly proportional to the square of the distance. So this means when R increases, F must decrease. Hmm. This diagram here, yes, it looks like it. It looks like it is the one that represented. As you can see, when you move from left to right, R increases, or rather R squared increases, but F decreases. Can you see that? So this looks right. This one here is totally out. Why is it out? It's out because it is not direct proportionality. Same applies to this one. It is not direct proportionality. Sorry, it is not proportionality, not direct proportionality. It is not proportionality. When you look at this one here, this one here says, F and R squared are directly proportional. According to this formula here, they are not directly proportional. So it's also out. Therefore, our answer is A. Okay? Our answer is A. 